The Pak Pung-ho is a North Korean main battle tank developed in the 1990s. The tank may incorporate technology found in the T-62, T-72, Chinese Type 88 and Chan Meho MBT. Outside parties code named the tank M2002 because the tank went through performance trials on February 16, 2002 although the tank may have been in existence since 1992. The Pak Pung Ho's primary armament is 2A46 125mm smoothbore gun, which fires AP rounds produced in North Korea. The tank also has a heavy KPV anti-aircraft machine gun and a coaxial machine gun. This tank does not have the capability to fire 80 GMs from its main gun. In addition the Series 2 shows in Parade Pinto mounted SA-7 Mampids while the Series 4 shows a twin mounted AT-5 Spandrel launchers and rear SA-16 Mampids. A twin automatic grenade launchers mounted on the right side of Commander Hatch. The propulsion side is probably the most foggy feature, and estimation rates place the total output of the power plant as high as 1500 horsepower, although the usual figure retained by most experts is likely to be around 1000 to 1200 horsepower. It's much probably also a 12-cylinder diesel. The drivetrain remain as of T-72, with torsion bars units. Although the engine compartment and the layout show some resemblance to a T-72 hull, the chassis is basically a heavily modified version of T-62, with greater length and an additional pair of road wheels. The glassy plate of the Pak Pung Ho is heavily sloped and protected by applique armor and the initial version was there added in later versions. The turret is reinforced with wedge-shaped armor modules in Pak Pung Ho 1 and seems to be protected by composite armor similar to the early export model T-72M in Pak Pung Ho 2 with air added. The panels along the tracks seem to be made of the light laminar armor. The fire control system of the Pak Pung Ho is relatively modern and based on the presence of a meteorological mast is almost certainly computerized, and some reports claim that it may be based on the Chieftain FCS, which Iran may have illegally exchanged for North Korean technology. The FCS of Pak Pung Ho is not based on the T-72 as it does not have the PNK-3 or PNK-4 day and night sighting system. However the night sighting system is most likely to be the same with obsolete T-62. The Pak Pung Ho also has an infrared sensor, a laser rangefinder and a searchlight, all of which allow the tank to operate during the night. Although the quality of the equipment are likely inferior to the South Korean counterparts, this tank is believed to be a considerable threat at medium and short-range engagements, although lacking when firing from long ranges at night. North Korea claim that the capabilities of Pak Pung Ho are similar to modern Russian tank T-90, which itself has roots from Cold War era T-72. All the features come together to make for a lethal offering, though direct warfare is an ultimate final gauge where the strength of this tank will be measured. At any rate the Pak Pung Ho fits well into doctrine that North Korea have for armored warfare. As it stands this tank is an improvement over the Cold War era Soviet offering the North Korean army is capable of fielding yet it remains to be unseen how this new system can be compared to the latest generation of MBTs. With the North Korean nation always strapped for war making resources such as oil as a result it largely dependent on some outside support such as China. Even large scale exercises involving the Pak Pung Ho are few. However this tank would most likely spearhead any offensive operation against South Korea.